How does the squad look for tomorrow night? Yeah, uh, we are exciting to to start a new a new season, a new official the the first official game. We are ready for this uh, appointment. Are you concerned that you have only played two matches? Yeah, of course. There are uh, uh, 180 minutes, and uh, this is uh, only the first uh, the first uh, 90 minutes. And we we able to to know and to think uh, uh, in two two matches. There has been uh, some some talk about Stuart Finlay, Angelo, about, and the future that he may have at the club. The manager of Oxford has spoken very highly of him. Can you understand why there is interest in such a player? Yeah, of course. Uh, hmm. We have uh, uh, we have had only two uh, friendly matches, and uh, at the same time, uh, Kona, Kona, uh, they have uh, a few games uh, friendlies. But uh, at this point, at this stage of the season, is uh, normal. But uh, we don't have uh, time, and, and we don't have, uh, have had time for to watch a lot of games, of course. But we are ready. We are ready for to 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 play uh, our uh, our football. You're very experienced in management, but football management. But have you had any experience of playing such a competitive, important game so yeah. early in the season? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> but I think I have a lot of experience in this competition because uh, as a, before as a player. And then, uh, as assistant and then coach, of course, uh, we live under pressure uh, in every in every moment. But I think I am uh, ready for this uh, this uh, competition. And did you expect to be playing a match at the beginning of July? Yeah, but um, at this point, uh, uh, as I was uh, talking. Uh, it's, it's a normal uh, in the first match uh, we, we we are try something but at the same time I think we we had we have a, a good uh, professional players and uh, for this reason I am um, sure tomorrow we show a good uh, a good uh, performance what can you what can you use from your experience at clubs like Chelsea and Juventus to get through a tie like this? Uh, um, my experience says is uh, every match is uh, tough and uh, my expectation is uh, the same. Tomorrow uh, for us uh, mm, it won't be an a easy match. I think tomorrow is uh, very tough and uh, for this reason uh, I, I studied a lot. Uh, Kanabi, and uh, I think uh, uh, we are uh, prepared uh, very well in this uh, in this uh, uh, the last week in the training session, and uh, I think uh, we we had uh, we have done uh, our homework, and uh, we are ready for uh, to play to play uh, our uh, game. Andrew, can I ask you, have you had any contact from Oxford about Stuart Findlay? Their manager spoke about Stuart Findlay today and he said uh, he was a player that he admired greatly and he, he's speaking about Stuart. Mm. I know so, so, um, Stuart, Stuart Findlay um, yeah. Oxford. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 have you spoken? Uh, no, no, yes, our task is in this moment is uh, to to keep our uh, best best player in uh, in the team, yeah. non sell, and uh, for this reason I I believe, and uh, this moment is um, for me is no I know I, 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 I don't want to 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 think this because I think is my 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 thought now is uh, this game. But uh, at the same time, of course, uh, 
uh, the best player, I want us to stay here. Can I also ask you about David Wheater? Uh, he was on trial here, wasn't he, David Wheater? Trial, but no, 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 no stay with us. Salford, I believe, is that right? No, no. No. No? No. He, he won't be signing for Coman? No, no. no. Okay. Have, you, have you decided who will play in goal tomorrow between McDonald and Ranescu? <coughs> yeah, in the, we 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 have uh, taken another uh, goalkeeper, Ranescu, Luan uh, Juventus, but I have, des I have decided if uh, we start uh, McDonald or Ranescu. Eamon Brophy was a player who had a very strong finish to last season mm. and he then earned a call up to the Scotland national side. What have you found working with him so far? Ah, yeah, I think uh, mm, this year for, uh, for him is uh, very important because uh, uh, the expectations are very high. Uh, but I think uh, at the same time the, the, the players is, uh, is ready for uh, a new season. How do you feel the squad looks? Having been in Spain with them, how do you feel the? What is your impression of the squad? Well, I I think uh, um, last season it was a great season for the club, uh, for uh, uh, the players and for uh, for the fans. And uh, my feel is good, and uh, because. Uh, uh, there are a lot of players <laughs> the same the last the last uh, the last season and uh, for this reason uh, I am sure uh, tomorrow we show a good game what would, what would a good result be tomorrow would it, are you here to win or would a draw be okay no but we are ready for uh, to to play a, a good uh, a good match and um, for for this reason, I I am I'm, I'm sure my player, my parent because uh, uh, they are very, of course, this first game in Europa League for a lot of the uh, the most of the player. But I think at the same time, they they are ready for uh, this this match, and uh, I'm sure they they show um, our uh, potential. How many more? <coughs> Would you like to add to the squad? No, no. How many more players would you like to add to the squad? Mm, this moment. Um, no. just, yeah. How, how many more more players? Like to come. In. No. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very happy. It was quite Top. quite famous at Chelsea, Angelo. Yeah. Under Conte. Yeah. He, he adopted this three three five two three at the back system. Is that something that you might look to emulate, or do you have your own style and your own way of doing things? No, um, I think uh, this is only numbers, and uh, I think it's, uh, it's right uh, to adopt a, a right uh, style uh, with the right uh, players. And for me, it's impossible to change another uh, another style in this moment. How was the how was the week in Spain? How did it go? Find a new new coach's ideas. Yeah, it was good. We very um, we got two games in, which is important. I think obviously with this game coming up, because uh, it's the most important in preseason things getting the minutes and trying to get ready for a game that's so soon. So it's always a good week. It's always uh, it's always good facilities and stuff like that. And we each other and you can get your double sessions in and stuff like that. So you can get a lot of work done over there. And, We've done a lot of work as well in Largs before we went away. How do you approach a game like tomorrow when you're massive favourites to win? Um, I wouldn't go as far as massive favourites, I think. Or to qualify? Yeah, I had to qualify, but they've played in Europe more than us, so it's obviously it's a tough game. I think you got to respect everyone. I don't think anyone's going in thinking it's going to be an easy game, and they're probably thinking the same, so I think we'll just concentrate on on this game for us and not worrying about getting through or being massive favourites. I think it's enough in the dressing room there that you get too ahead of yourself in football I'm sure you get a nice slap in the face. So oh, we're just treating it as an important game like any game to be honest and we respect everyone and they're here for a reason as well. I don't think they're gonna 
think it's going to be an easy game of roll over. This is the rewards for a great season last season. Gary obviously want to keep it close, you know? Yeah, definitely. As I think the manager said, there's not that many of us that have played in Europe. There's a few that have played, so it's a great chance for us and a great chance for the club as well to get itself back in the map and to do well in Europe. But we're not looking past this game. I don't think anyone is. And starting with tomorrow, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. I mean, we're not going to treat it any other game. We're going to go in and respect them and try to win the game. But sometimes pre-season can be a leveller as well. Um, so we'll expect, you know, what to expect from them. So it's up to us to to play our game really. Up until. Past couple of days, Gary, the club hadn't actually signed anyone this summer. You can look at that in one sense and say, well, you made like a few more new faces, but when you think back to the way the recruitment was, when you first arrived at the club, it was like 15, 16 players every year almost. Do you welcome that continuity? Yeah, definitely. I think we're in a different market now. To be honest with you, I think with how we finished the season, the last two seasons, and probably the players we're looking at now, we don't have to jump the gun and desperate to get players in. We've already got a good core of players there, so I'm sure it's it's more attractive for players to come here and hopefully the longer we can stay in Europe, the better player we can get in and the bigger budget we can have. So, yeah, I think even last year, I don't think we panicked too much early on. I think we hadn't signed too many people last year and people were panicking, but that worked out all right, so hopefully this year will work out the same. Do you like yourself to get excited about being back in Europe? Or um, what do you think? It's hard to be fair. I think the only time I got excited last year was the last game of the season, um, because you can't really. You're always preparing. You're always trying to stay fit. You're always you've got everything else going on in your life, and maybe the younger boys can sit back and relax and enjoy a bit more. But no, it is obviously don't get me wrong. Delighted to get a chance to play in Europe, but you're always concentrating on something. You're always working towards something, and to actually achieve something that's that's quite good. I don't think you can sit back and celebrate just yet. In terms of coaching style, what would you say is the biggest difference between Steve Clark and you? Um, I think there's always differences to be fair. I don't think I've had one manager that's the same in my career. I've had a lot, everyone has different ways of doing stuff, different styles, different types, so it's up to us as the players to adapt to that. Um, as I said, we've got a lot of players here from last year, so. I think everyone kind of knows each other as well, which helps the manager to implement stuff. He's not bringing in 10 or 15 players and trying to get a, a certain system going. So, um, no, it's always different and you're always learning, aren't you? Would you say continuity is the kind of name of the game for both of you? Yeah, definitely. I think I think it helps the club. Obviously, it helps the manager. He's not coming in looking to sign a whole new squad. He obviously, he wants to bring in his own players, which, which will happen in time, but... I think it's it's a good base to come into and it gives you a good chance, especially with a game coming up so quick. So I think it's a good match, yeah. Given that the after the end of last season, Boydie left, John Jones left as well. When you look at the attacking unit of the team, that's quite a big sort of force to take away. Does that place extra responsibility on Brophy, do you think? Um it's always pressure, isn't it, on attacking players no matter who's playing, but we've had a lot of boys that have come back into the team and boys who've been out and loan that probably get a chance, like Dom and Greg Kelty are coming back in, Rory McKenzie, Berkey, they've all chipped in with goals and then we've got young Innes last year who went out and loan and scored a lot of goals. So not as, there's always pressure there in attacking players, I think. But as you've seen last year, I think people probably thought we were a bit defensive, but we created a lot of chances in most games we played in. Um, so you always... Once you're attacking players, and there is pressure on them, but uh, I'm sure Brofs is used to that now. He's got number nine as well, so it's a bit smaller than short, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure he knows the pressure there that comes with being a number nine at any club, to be honest with you. Whether it's Kilmarnock or whether it's Man United, the pressure's there to score goals. He's a pretty confident guy, though, so he'll probably relish having number nine. Yeah, he is. In fairness to him, and he doesn't really that much phase him. Uh, not the most intelligent now, but it probably works in his favour but I think now it is as you've seen with playing with Scotland probably most players would have been a nervous wreck but no name and he probably chilled out and relaxed and probably forgot he was starting at one stage so um, <laughs> no he is and his record since he's come here has been it's been really good and he's got better as he's as he's played more so here because he hadn't played started a lot of games previously before he came here so he's developing and he was brilliant for us last year and hopefully 
hope we can score a few tomorrow night. But it's uh, always uh, things are happening uh, behind the scenes in this moment. And uh, if uh, there are uh, any players uh, who can add uh, something to the squad, we are interested, of course. Is the, is the forward area an area <coughs> yeah. particularly? Yes. Yes. Do you feel the profit needs help? Uh, yes, because uh, a lot of players uh, went away. For this reason, we 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 find.